Simon Cowell, the head of the show, is said to have saved Bruno Tonioli's spot on the judging panel of Britain's Got Talent after he recently shot down rumors that he might be replaced. The ITV show's filming was scheduled to coincide with Dancing with the Stars, where Bruno, 68, has served as a judge since 2005. Simon, 64, will reportedly pay thousands of dollars to have the TV personality from Italy fly back and forth, though. Bruno gave the show fresh energy when he joined BGT the previous year. Simon believed he made brilliant television and adored his unpredictable nature. It's evident from the ratings that the audience agreed as well. A source stated, Bruno's commitment to Dancing with the Stars was promptly brought up to Simon and the producers as plans were being made to redesign BGT for 2025. Simon was able to figure out a method to make it function. It implies that Bruno stays on the show even though a stand-in judge might be required once or twice. The insider disclosed that although Bruno finds traveling back and forth to be inconvenient, he remains devoted to both shows. Filming for Britain's Got Talent begins the next month, and the former Strictly judge will begin in the United States on September 17th. The source claims that although comedian Alan Carr, 48, was first suggested to take his position if he had to leave the show, he is currently believed to be the most popular choice to step in. Following the show's May finale, there were numerous rumors that the 18th series judging panel might change as Dancing with the Stars production might conflict with the tryouts later in the year. Bruno, according to a source, boldly proclaimed, I'm not going anywhere. Concerned about if his career was in jeopardy, he responded, I will be back with bells on. In addition to putting an end to the rumors, Simon said that despite scheduling conflicts, the Italian choreographer will return the following year and that a stand-in will be used. The music mogul clarified, appearing on Heart Radio, I would not replace him. Bruno from the program is my fave. I'm going to give you a headline from one of the papers today, Simon. Britain's Got Talent set to drop the judge, Bruno. Host Jamie Theakston said to the star, dispelling the rumors. Jamie pressed Simon when he claimed that the title was untrue, saying, Okay, well, what if that isn't true? Simon clarified, saying, Really? I conversed with, I have no idea where to find all of this information. It was only two weeks ago that I mentioned Bruno's scheduling conflict to the producers. Because he'll be in America and we're doing the additions this year, some of the additions. Thus, perhaps someone will fill in for him. I'm not sure. On the show, though, I adore Bruno. I believe he is intelligent. Adding, he brings such an amazing energy and he knows so much. Fellow Judge Amanda concurred. And he has a wealth of knowledge on the subject matter. In addition, he is genuinely the kindest person and an exceptionally intelligent judge. Thus, no, I wouldn't take his place, Simon continued. So, Bruno is returning? Inquired Jamie, as Simon definitively stated. He's coming back. Have you approached Alan Carr? Jamie then inquired. Simon shot back, saying, No, Amanda wants Alan. Jamie questioned, How much of a say does she have? Simon shot back, No, and Amanda sobbed, I have no say. Alan disclosed that, following his rejection as the new judge on Britain's Got Talent, he had confronted Simon last year. A week later, the comedian, who had been approached for the part prior to Bruno receiving it without telling him, ran into Simon at Amanda Holden's house. The following week, Amanda Holden said, Alan, I'm having a party. To which I replied, great. Alan told the reporter, I adore it. Oh my goodness, Simon's in there. I say as I open the door, oh my God. Thus, in typical fashion, I approached him and, using my best sense of humor, exclaimed, my wrist hurts from practicing that bloody buzzer all weekend, and you chose Bruno. Alan, that's showbiz, imitated the former chatty man host.